You may have seen everyone and their nan talking about these Akatar books online and you may be thinking, what are they? Why are they so hyped up? But this tired mom is gonna tell you exactly why you should read them. So I fell in love with these books over the summer and they have reignited my love for reading. I feel like I have a hobby again. I feel like I have something else to my personality that isn't just being a mum. And I have these books to thank for that. But okay, let's try and describe them. So basically the story focuses on Feyre and she lives in the human world. She lives with her dad, her two older sisters. They're very, very poor. So every day she has to go out hunting, very Katniss Everdeen vibes. There is a wall that separates the human world from this other world called Perinthian, other world, other land. Basically, there's all these creatures called fairies that live there and other like magical creatures. There's seven courts within this like realm, which are ruled by seven high lords who are very, very powerful. And there's a lot of like history between the humans and the fairies. And the humans are basically scared shitless of the fairies. So anyways, Feyre is out hunting one day doing her Katniss Everdeen and she kills a wolf. But you guessed it, the wolf was not a wolf. And because she kills this not a wolf, she has to go and live out the rest of her days in the fairyland, in the spring court, with the spring court high lord. And we are basically following her story in this new world. Now, not only are we following her story, this world, the seven courts, there is like, there's a lot of ag going on. There's a lot of angst and yeah, there's a lot going on. So not only has she got to deal with like her new life and this scary high lord, there's also this impending war and the drama that goes with that as well. I feel like I'm not doing it justice, but these books really are magic. If you are like new to like fantasy, like I was, I, at first I was a bit like, what is going on? Like who, what, hey, what's going on? But then just power through because I would say the last 60 to 70% of the book is when it all heats up and you're like, Jesus Christ, I can't put this book down. But the reward is this book. The second book is magic. I'm not even joking. I genuinely think there's some kind of magic within the pages of this book because this made me, I genuinely thought I was dead inside. Like I feel like since becoming a mum, my brain is just like flit flitted with like mum stuff. And I genuinely do think that I've had like a Dementor from Harry Potter suck my soul out. This book made me realize that I am not dead inside. It's now my new all time favorite book. So I need to apologize to the illustrated mum by Jacqueline Wilson. You've been knocked off the top spot. When you get to this, you will be hooked. Hooked, I tell you, and your life will be changed forever. And you are welcome. They're a hundred percent worth the hype. I feel like they've altered my brain chemistry. And now I love reading again. And now I've got all these books. Like I can't stop buying books. I can't stop reading. I feel like bloody Matilda.